In this video, we will create get API that will return all the data from the database. In our previous video, uh, we have set up the application, we have installed entity framework core and we have the database. To work with get API, we need to create model in this application. Let's create new folder for models. Right click on project. Then click add new folder. Folder name will be models. Inside this model, let's create one class. Class name will be book model. Here, let's open this books class. Copy these properties from here and paste it in this book model class. Now we have one model in this application. Now let's open book repository. Inside this, uh, we will create public method, public async task list of book model add the namespace then method name get all books async here uh, i am using async keyword then returning list of books that are available in the database uh, here I am using toss keyword because we are using async programming in this application. Inside this method, we have to write some logic to read the data from the database. For that, we have to use db context class. Now, let's create a new constructor inside this class. Inside this constructor, we can have an instance of the db context class. We can use that instance of the db context class in all the methods. So the best place to resolve the dependency is this constructor. Now let's open the db context class which we have created inside this data folder that is bookstore context. Copy this name and go to book repository paste it here in this constructor. Now context. Let's create a context field. Right click here then choose quick actions and refactorings. Here choose create and assign field context. Now let's add the underscore before this context field name. If you want to change this uh, field name you can use any other name also. Then assign it uh, to this constructor like this. Now uh, we can get the instance of the db context class in our application because we have registered db context class in startup class. Um, let add the namespace for this db context class. Okay, that's it. Now Let's open a startup class. Inside this configure services method, uh, we have added db context class by using this services. This is the place where we will get instance of the db context class. Now go back to book repository. Inside this get all books as async method, let's write where records equal here we can use context then put dot here we will get um, all the tables that are available in this context as of now we have books table only so enter books then here we will use tool to list async method Because we are using async programming in this application, then use await keyword also here. Then add the namespace. 
this two list async is belongs to microsoft dot entity framework core now uh, we are getting all the books table data in this records variable see here uh, we have to return the data in the form of book model um, in this records variable we are getting list of books so we have to convert this books to book model uh, we can do that in many ways first approach is we can use for each loop to return the data second method is we can directly fetch the data from book model so here we will use the second method here we can write select here we will use instance of this book model so copy this book model and paste it here so here we have to set the value for all the properties let's say id equal x dot id then title equal x dot title then author equal x dot author now uh, we have to return the records uh, from this method so here we can write return records now we have completed this method uh, here we are converting um, entire data manually from books to this book model let's assume uh, that we have more than 30 or 50 properties in our table then we have to write code for all those 30 to 50 properties in a real time application definitely we can have more tables in a database if you are doing this conversion task manually from one type to another uh, type, then we need to write lots of code we can resolve this problem by using the auto mapper we will learn about this auto mapper in our upcoming videos now we will use this manual conversion okay now uh, we have an interface uh, for this book repository so we have to write this um, code in ibook repository okay copy this method name from here and go to ibook repository here paste it put a colon add the namespace for this book model that's it now uh, we are done with book repository now let's open books controller in this controller uh, we will get the data from the book repository okay. to inject the data from book repository we have to use constructor inside this um, controller let's create a constructor here we have to use a uh, ibook repository so copy this name from here paste it here then book repository now add the namespace now right click on this book repository then quick actions and refactorings then create and assign field book repository. Now um, you can keep this uh, this dot book repository as it is, or if you want to change the name, then you can modify it. Now I'm going to use underscore before this book repository field. Okay, modify this also. Now um, let's create a a new action method to handle incoming HTTP request so here we can write public async and then task here we will use um, I action result then method name get all books 
inside this i want to get all the books from the book repository for that we can write where books equal book repository dot get all books async method here we are calling this method then use await keyword because we are working with async programming in this application in this books variable uh, we will have all the data so we have to return it by using ok method that's it now we have to add routing to this action method here we can use http get web because we are getting records from database remember if you are using http work uh, in the routing then there is no need to use route separately we can route, uh, write the route inside this http work uh, parenthesis here uh, i will use default route for this action method now save and run this application now um, we can test the api by using swagger uh, browser or postman now first we will test the api in uh, swagger see the base route here first uh, api then controller name so in the browser api and then controller name books here we are going to test get api click this then click this try it out here then click this execute see here uh, response code is 200 here we got the two data id 1 and id 2 title and author name are displaying here uh, now go to sql server management studio see here in this books table manually i have entered two records so those data are displaying here now we will test the API in browser. So modify the URL. Here we have to open API and then controller name books. Here we got the output in JSON format. Now copy this URL. Go to postman. Here already we are in get method. Paste the URL which we copied from the browser. Then click the send button here. Here we got the output and then we got the status code 200 OK method. Now in SQL Server Management Studio, let's add one more data ASP.NET MVC, then author name, let's say author 3. Now execute this select query. See here we have three data. Now go to postman. Now click this send button again. See here we got the three records from books table. Okay guys thanks for watching this video.